inspiration day. Good very early morning, you guys. It's Sunday, my last official full day here in Pupacana. I have been having a great time so far. Today, we are going to Skate Park. It's an adventure park, and I'm really, really excited. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, you haven't actually seen my outfit. It's a very chill outfit because, again, we're going to be doing a lot of activities in this park. So this outfit is from Nike, and then I have my water shoes. Oh, Anyways, so yeah, I have my water shoes on, which are also hiking shoes, and um, I have my bathing suit underneath that I got from Target. Right now, we're going to go ahead and head down to breakfast since they just opened, and I need to be at the lobby by 7.50, so that way we can go ahead and head to the park. So yeah, we'll go ahead and catch you guys later. Oh, also, I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to show y'all this conch. Actually, Giselle found it when we were in... Um, which island was it? When we were looking at starfish, oh, so we went to see starfish. I don't think I mentioned that either. We saw starfish and um, it's like the natural pools. That's where they have like all the starfish and everything. But um, she found a conch. The family that was also with us, they have had a nice conch too. Like it's very, very full and big. This one kind of broke when I was getting on the boat because I kind of like almost fell. And, but yeah, it's really, really nice. I've never seen like an actual like, like an actual big conch like this. So that's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna hide it so no one can take it. Alrighty, you guys, I'm officially in the park. Right now we're gonna go zip lining because a lot of people said based on the videos I've been watching to do zip lining first because it gets pretty crowded and also I'm gonna do it because it's really really early and I don't want to be zip lining in the middle of the day when it's super super hot so I'm gonna do that also I'm so freaking dumb I forgot to bring my lock that I used to lock my maletas and I had to buy one here so the lock here is like five dollars but just bring your own lock I think it's free if you just bring your own lock and I had the lock and I completely forgot it in the room so don't be like me and spend $5 on a lock that you can technically get for free if you buy it on your own terms. So just keep that in mind if you come here. To zip lining we go. but this is very physical and extreme so just keep that in mind if you want to come here but i'm having a great great freaking time at this park <laughs> intense and insane i had so much freaking fun right now we're gonna go to saltos azules which is basically just a zip line that you just jump into the water and that'll be a great way to pull off this is next oh nice did the um stick ride where you just hold on to it and then you fall in the photographer left so now i have to do that again because he wasn't there to take my picture so we're gonna do the hammock ride <laughs> Should I go in? Should I 
Right now, I'm gonna do the cave swim. I hope they have a place to where I can put my clothes down because when I was doing the saltos azules, they had a lot of benches and stuff. You can just leave your stuff. It's pretty safe. I brought my phone with me, of course, but let's hope the same works for the caves. <laughs> and I still have like all these stairs to go down. I mean, I knew they said it was gonna be a lot of walking, but y'all, I don't think I've ever walked this much in one day. Just kidding, I might be lying, but just to get to one attraction, it took me 20 minutes and I still have a long way down. <laughs> see but that is a huge snake <laughs> <laughs> all right so now we're going to the last excursion of the day or not excursion attraction we're going to hoyo azul which is basically a cenote a natural cenote and i've heard it's like a long walk so we'll see if that's true igua bonita cave let's go over here also the freaking iguanas they're not iguanas those are miniature dinosaurs I was thinking they were going to be like the iguanas that you see in Cancun. Absolutely not. I got scared. There was one that just ran out and that one was big. Y'all are going to see it in the like montage footage. I was like, are you sure that is an iguana? I mean, I know they're like reptiles, right? But that is a miniature dinosaur. Oh, and another thing. I met two girls, they're actually a couple, they're cute, that are actually staying at the same resort as me and we were like bonding over like how crappy the food has been. One of the girls said that she's been eating at the buffet every day, which I've seen, but I wasn't sure what that was about. It's like a night buffet that they serve and she said the food there is good. So I might just hit up there. Since, like I said earlier, I've already eaten at all the restaurants. So we'll see what the vibe is. We'll see, I'm still kind of like thinking about it. We're gonna go ahead and check out this cave. Oh, it's a freaking bat cave. Do I wanna go in there? I guess. We're here, you know, the Nemo's capital of it, Chad. And yeah, so like they're here. They the girls that I was telling you about, they came in the same day as me, which is Wednesday, and they leave tomorrow as well, which is Monday. And um they're from Atlanta, and I told them where I'm from, which is Houston. And we were just like bonding over like everything and like and i missed the foam party which is okay um i had a great time yesterday at sauna island and that is definitely an unforgettable experience this whole trip has been a very great experience for me i just enjoyed the time with myself no distractions dnd on heavy 
it's one thing to be on do not disturb but being on do not disturb in a whole different country that's taking it to a whole nother level but had a great 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 time and dominican republic showed me a lot of love why was i not surprised that there were going to be more stairs and it seems like they go all the way up <sighs> i need the exercise oh my god when does it end <sighs> I'm over it. I know I need to exercise, but God dang. <laughs> out the back cave is closed you'll need a tour guide to guide you through the cave and it would have been nice if they were to close that off at the bottom at the very very bottom instead of walking all these stairs to find out that it's closed i think that's me Diosito, telling me girl you need to take these steps you need to exercise but here's look at this view though now that i think about it this is actually the route that we did zip lining at the very beginning because there's a water station over there and but the breeze is nice <laughs> walking way too much it's not for the week if you want to come here i'll say that you got to be very physically active or just able to walk for a very long distance otherwise this park is not for you baby it's not since i posted that sign or since i filmed that sign going to hoyo azul well y'all won't really know realistically but in real time that was 10 minutes ago and I'm still not even there. And then it's going to be like probably a 20 minute walk. Look, as y'all saw earlier, I had to walk up some stairs, cross the bridge and then walk down the stairs. And then there's like still paths everywhere. <laughs> but I'm still having a great time. And this is the main thing I wanted to see coming here was Hoyo Azul. So anything to see it. So... No matter how much walking we do. Actually, let me emphasize with you how much walking. So even before I filmed the sign, I was walking for 20 minutes prior. So I ended up going to the to the bat cave. And that was like 20 minute walking and coming back down. And then all this walking I have to do. I've probably been walking for about a good 30 minutes. I feel like I'm almost there getting close. <laughs> you know, I just, I just jumped from there to 50 foot deep hole. I wish I had someone who can record me, but that's okay. I just realized I jumped with my clothes on. What was I thinking? Hey guys, I'm back. 
here at the resort. I look like a hot mess, but it's okay because I had a great time. It was a lot of fun and I did a lot. We were there for eight hours. Well, that's because they dropped us off and we had to be at the pickup point by five o'clock, but it was so much fun. But the only thing is there was so much walking I don't think I've ever walked that much. I feel like we walked more in this park than Eshkare. And they said Eshkare, it's a real, real big park, but no, I feel like I walked a lot more here. And I'm not talking just walking. You had to walk upstairs. You had to crawl through a little cave. Rock climb in the middle of a zip line adventure? What? Bro, I walked so much. Like each attraction were like 15 to 20 minutes away from each other by walking. I mean, I totally recommend the park, but let me tell y'all, that park is not for everybody. It is not. I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. It is not for everybody. You have to be able to walk for a long distance. You, like, if you have feet problems, back problems, any type of problems, this park is not for you. Um, you can still go to swim. Like, they have, like, relaxing areas, like, just the pool where you can just chill at, and it feels really, really good, but it's still a long walk from the front to get to that point. Like, all the attractions are far away from each other and they need to work on it. Also, which I find weird, they have tipping stations, especially in the zip line, they have like a tip box. And I was just like, why would we want to tip if that's your job to protect us, to make sure we don't fall off the zip line? Like you want us to tip you just so you can like, you know, why would you tip us? I mean, why would we tip you for you to, I don't know, I just, I just didn't think, I found out weird. Like I was like, why do you guys have tipping boxes for zip line? That's y'all's job, we're supposed to keep us safe, you know? Like, first of all, that park is expensive as well. I paid a hundred, like after tax, I paid $134. You have to pay for food. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, the most expensive dish that they have were the ribs and it was like $15. I just got a cheeseburger with fries and a drink and that one was $15 with everything. So it was like $13 without the drink. And then of course you want to drink, it's like $15. I also got a paleta de cappuccino and that was really, really good, really good. I did that once I was done with everything and I was just waiting for the bus to pick us up. That one was really good. Um, I'm leaving out another important detail. I feel like I'm leaving out two, but I can't remember. Well, I remember one. I think I already mentioned it, but I wasn't really clear or specific enough. Make sure y'all bring y'all's own lock if y'all do decide to go to Skate Park because it's five dollars to buy one and you they just you just use it to lock your things but i think it's free if you bring your own lock and i had a lock for my maleta and i completely forgot and i was seeing so many videos of people saying bring your own lock bring your own lock so you don't have to buy one at the park and i completely forgot my lock it was here so i had to pay five dollars but you get to keep the lock if you do buy it over there so that's cool um what am i missing i'm missing something it's just that park though i loved it i had a great time it was fun adventurous just what i like extreme i loved it i loved it the back caves i did end up going it turns out that you needed a guide to get you over there which i think i also mentioned this earlier um there were tarantulas scorpions I almost said Scorpio, scorpions, um, what else? An owl, but it only comes out in like very early in the morning and then of course like late at night. But we did see a tarantula. We saw some bats there that were like asleep because obviously they're nocturnal. And yeah, it was like a 20 minute, that was like the worst walking ever to get to the bat cave. Girl, it was just a lot of walking. I do recommend it, but you gotta be physically fit or just willing to be able to stand through it because it was hard for me it was hard for me but i mean granted i'm not a physically fit person like i don't exercise that's why i've been gaining weight and eating a lot of bad food but anyway definitely was worth the workout for me and i had a great time it was worth it in the end um they also do have oh that's another thing i didn't like okay so they have photo packages since it was just me it's 49 dollars for one to two people it's 49 dollars and then the more people you go with the more expensive the packages are and so the guy at the beginning i thought i wanted to buy it in the beginning he's like oh no you buy it at the end once you're done and also they take your picture as soon as you walk in they take your picture they have like facial recognition so all the pictures are tied over towards your like face which is cool so they're it's easy to identify everybody and they take your name down at the beginning 
But going back to the photos, so I paid $49, right? Cause it was just me. And the guy was explaining to me that, okay, so from nine to 12, you have photographers at each attraction. After that, from 12 to one, they are at lunch. And then they come back from one to 3.30 to continue taking pictures. I made sure at every attraction there were photographers, especially the zip lining, cause that's where I would want like photos of me. But I didn't know that Hoyo Azul and oh sorry shaky table and there's like a uh there's like a cascada too which is a waterfall there's a photographer there too but they were not there i didn't know they had photographers at those at those stations i just thought it was like the big ones like zipline um the monkey oh and i didn't see the monkeys and i, I don't know why i was like i don't know why i didn't go like meet the monkeys but it's okay like i saw a monkey but there's one where you actually like have monkeys on you but i don't know if that was included or if you have to pay extra there's buggies as well you have to pay extra 49 dollars. but honestly i didn't care for the buggies i just really cared for the zip lining that's all i cared about and swimming in the caves and jumping in hoyo azul okay so hoyo azul that water is 49 feet deep and i jumped in there and i have footage for it so i'm just beyond satisfied there was a freaking photographer for that too and i was so mad because it was like i noticed that myself i jumped in i jumped in twice the first time i jumped in and then i didn't get any pictures and then like the two girls that i mentioned earlier she happened to walk in and she was like are you having fun i was like yeah and i told her i was like i already jumped in but i didn't get any footage she's like well girl let me take a video of you real quick and i was like do you mind she's like of course not girl and she like filmed it for me as soon as i like jumped and swam back up the stairs the photographer was there taking pictures of the people that were behind me i was so pissed i was so pissed so i low-key got scammed but the pictures that i was i mean you get all the pictures and i was trying to take as many pictures as i can i could have went again for a third time but honestly like i didn't want to <laughs> But um, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I do recommend the park, but it's not for everybody. I will say that there are so many other excursions, attractions that you can do that can substitute that. But it is very extreme. And I was expecting that because I'm an extreme person. I love zip lining. I love swimming in caves. I love all that wild stuff. Like that's how I am. It's not something that you see at your hometown unless you live where they do extreme things like that. But in Houston, they don't have that. You know, especially in Houston. Houston's flat, polluted, nothing but oil companies and oil rigs. Like, there's nothing cool. Like, like nothing extreme. I love Houston, but it's nothing extreme. But I had a great time. I had a great time. That's, like, today's, like, actually my last full day here. Oh, my God. Today's my last full day here. I need to pack. <laughs> I need to pack. <laughs> I need to do that tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll be spending the day here. My flight leaves late too. It leaves at like 4.30 or something like that. I don't remember what time. I just know I get back home around like 7.45 at night. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and chill and then I'm gonna just get ready for dinner. My last dinner. And I'll check back with you guys later. Alrighty you guys, I'm ready for dinner. This is the outfit of the evening. If it looks familiar, it's because it should. I actually wore it last year in Cancun. The reason why I'm wearing it again is because I feel like it didn't give the exposure that it deserved. And I think that day I was coming out of dehydration, like I was recovering. So I really wasn't feeling well and I wasn't in the mood to take pictures. So this is the outfit again. I don't think they have it anymore, but I got it from this store in the mall called The Wave. And that's where I bought it. And then we're wearing, not wearing, what? We're wearing the same um, triangular wheels, the green ones. Again, Amazon. They're really hard to find on Amazon or in Miss Lil's Boutique if it's available. So yeah, this is the outfit of the evening. I literally have not worn it since Cancun and that was over a year ago at this point. So this outfit deserved justice. Okay, let's go to dinner because I'm running late. <laughs>
back from dinner my last dinner here I don't know why I'm fronting because I did not like the food here anyway, but like <laughs> So I went to the buffet first as y'all saw a little bit on the montage. I went to the buffet I only grabbed a little bit. I grabbed like some potatoes and like some pastries I didn't film that part, but that's what I had then after that I went to the French restaurant and here's what kind of got me I walk in there right and there's at least five or six people that are eating the first time I was there it was kind of busy so I get it that I had to wait actually no I was sat right away whenever I walked in the first time and it was pretty busy and although like the service was kind of slow I understood because they were busy today there was literally only like six people eating tell me why I had to wait next door at the bar for 20 minutes for me to be seated. Yet they had nine to 10 waiters singing happy birthday to somebody. Does, do you really need nine or 10 waiters? Maybe I'm just being a brat right now, but like, I didn't understand that. I was like, what was the logic behind that? There's nobody eating there really. And yet I still had to wait like 20 minutes. Like, what what's going on? Like what's going on? And then even then, once I got sat down, the service was still pretty slow. And then, also okay so the main reason why i wanted to come back to the french restaurant again was because they had one of these dessert plates that is basically like ice cream like assortment of ice cream flavors in a martini glass and it looked like a big like sundae tell me why i mean y'all already will see the montage footage at this point but tell me why this man gives me a bowl of chocolate and I believe coffee flavored ice cream. Why are you guys advertising that y'all have a martini glass full of different kind of ice cream flavors on the menu's website and y'all are gonna serve it to me when a, like a regular cereal glass bowl with two flavors when on there you had like five or six? I kid you not. If I find the menu, I will literally insert a clip of what I was looking at. Oh shit, what is that? I'm like, ain't no way. Y'all just catfished me, but <laughs> it is what it is. Like, it's cool. It's cool. Like, I just can't believe the day has finally arrived. Well, not the day, but like the night has already arrived that it's legit my last night staying here in Punta Cana. This trip, has been amazing for me. It definitely got me out of my comfort zone. I met so many people, so many people, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've always known that it's true that whenever you're by yourself, you're more prone to talk to strangers and talk to, not so strangers, but you're more prone to talking to people, to different kinds of people than you are when you're with a friend or with a partner or with whoever or with a group. Like when you're by yourself, you just interact with other people and that's how you, you know, engage and i've met so many people i just love it also i think i really love it because it reminds me of colombia so much this country i almost said city this country reminds me of colombia so much just even the way people drive here that's how people in colombia drive like all crazy and insane like they don't care like that's how they are here too and then like with the motorcycles although in colombia they have you see more motorcycles than you do vehicles but i just I love this country i really do i feel like i love it more because again it kind of reminds me of colombia's culture and i'm just like oh maybe i do need to make a trip back to colombia i was to be honest had i not booked this dominican trip well originally before i decided i wasn't going to go on a trip this summer i was thinking about going to colombia around this time but since my grandma was here like for the last two months i decided not to go because i'm like well okay well my grandma's here they were the main reason why i wanted to go to colombia were for to see my grandparents because my grandma was here uh, she was like my mom was like oh no don't come oh my camera's about to die but um right now i'm gonna go ahead and finish packing and actually start packing because i haven't even started well start packing because i haven't even done anything yet that's what i meant to say girl it's late and i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow good night well the day is here. It is time for me to go back home to the United States of America. <laughs> but I just wanted to come on here and say that this trip was very much needed. As I mentioned at the very beginning of the vlog, your girl was going through it and I wasn't happy and I felt like this was a great trip. I feel a lot better now, even as of like 
two months ago or last month even i was okay but right now i feel like this was very much needed it was a great way to mentally reset myself to detox to escape the bad 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 things that are happening over there in the u.s and come here to this beautiful country and just wind down and do what you want to do like it is okay to be selfish it is totally okay um my mom and my dad always tell me all the time especially my mom at least you're so selfish you're so selfish i am i know i am sometimes i'll admit that i'll be selfish in a bad way but most of the time it's for my own good like it is okay to be selfish because again no one is gonna have you like you the only person that will always support you and will have your back is yourself you have to put yourself first especially nowadays you really need to protect yourself your time your worth everything your aura like everything like it's okay to put yourself first do it like i hope this video i almost said this trip but i hope this vlog inspires you to take a solo trip or not even a solo trip just to do something that you've been wanting to do but you never got to because you were worried about what others may think or that you didn't have anyone to go with like it is okay to just do it yourself because again if that's what you want to do if that's what you want to do then do it um i've been learning how to spend time with myself for the past like few years anyway i started with going out to eat by myself i started going to the movies by myself i went to concerts by myself now i can say i went to a whole trip to a whole different country by myself in a beautiful country at that i met so many great people people that were also solo travelers people who weren't solo travelers i just was talking to people again i am a very social person now so it is easy for me to talk to people and for people to approach me in this country though it's not like mexico where you know majority everybody there speaks english and spanish here you'll find people that speak english and spanish but not so much it's more so spanish so i do recommend if you speak spanish speak the language i spoke spanish the entire time i was here and they get so happy excited and relieved when they find out that you're speaking spanish and it's so funny because i was speaking spanish to them and they reacted like oh you speak spanish like how they do over there in the u.s and i was like why are you guys reacting that i speak spanish i'm black just like y'all and there's a lot more black people here obviously than there was in mexico so i was like what you trying to say like i don't fit in like i don't know like they're like oh hablas espanol i'm like yeah why is it a surprise to you you're black just like me <laughs> but it's it's funny like they but either way if you speak spanish speak the language here speak the spanish here because they will be super excited and they are willing to help you trust me like yesterday on the way to the park um i was speaking spanish to him because um he seemed like he didn't really understand me when i was talking to him in english i spoke spanish to him and he got so excited a little too excited that he put me in the passenger seat while like everybody else was in the like in the bus just like oh really so like she gets the special treatment and i really didn't even want to be at the front i wanted to sleep i wanted to sleep and he put me in the front he's like i'll put you in the front because you're like the only person i can talk to and i can show you like the good places around here and i was just like okay he's like i'll give you a tour so he was like kind of like talking to me and everything and then he told me like what kind of music i like and i was like oh like i like any type of music like i don't care like i have a lot of variety and then like it's just a lot like these people here are willing to help you they're willing to help you maybe because they also probably thought i was attractive as well that's probably why i got this like special treatment but anyway as long as you speak if you know the language speak the language that's all i'm saying i mean if you speak english too it's okay there's people here that speak english but prefer if you speak Spanish if you know Spanish speak Spanish because that's what I spoke the entire time that I was here I am so happy and I'm proud of myself that I was able to do this this was something that a year ago I never envisioned me doing and here I am already about to go back after the most amazing solo trip I've ever had well my first solo trip I've ever had will I do it again absolutely absolutely I would do it again it feels so good to do everything you want by yourself not having to worry about anybody not having to worry about someone slowing you down or rushing you like you can do things at your own pace that's what i enjoyed you did everything you wanted like i saw everything i wanted to see i did everything i wanted to do like at my own pace like i did everything i am i know like i planned my itinerary and everything and that was great too but i felt so good like i was just like dang i really did all this like i was like i want to sleep at the beach i want to sleep at the beach i actually fell asleep at the pool i fell asleep in the pool like i wanted to come back here and take an hour nap i sure did 
I sure did like I didn't have to rush myself I didn't slow myself down like it felt so good to not have anybody you're in a whole different country by yourself like again DND on heavy do not disturb is on heavy it was amazing it was this trip was definitely needed. I feel so good. I feel proud of myself. I feel empowered as a woman. I feel so empowered. And seeing all the solo travelers, kudos to you guys. Shout out to y'all, cause y'all are doing it. We did it. Now I can consider myself a solo traveler cause I went on a solo trip. Even my best friend Ty, shout out to her cause she went on a whole trip. First time out of the country by herself at a country that she didn't even speak Spanish to. She also was like part of my motivation. Like I was like, dang, like I'm proud of her. Like I, that makes me want to do it as well. So if you're watching this, cause I know she probably will. I'm proud of you. And you're part of the reason why I wanted to do this trip by myself as well, so. Thank you for that. And um, I love you. And so even my parents, they encouraged me to do it too. I was kind of like, I didn't think they would because I felt like they were kind of worried, especially my dad. <laughs> My dad was more worried than my mom. He won't admit it, but I feel like he was probably worried. But they encouraged me, they inspired me to like, do what you want to do. Like, you know, you're old enough to do it. You're an adult. You don't really have, you don't have kids. You don't have big responsibilities. Like, just do it. You don't have anything that's holding you back. Do it. If that's what you want to do, just do it. And so here I am and I'd do it again. I would do it again. Um, will I come back to the Dominican Republic? Absolutely. I love this country so much definitely reminds me of colombia the people here are amazing beautiful too the men and the women here are beautiful gorgeous um the environment the ambiance the culture everything here was lovely lovely the most beautiful beaches when i went to sauna island that was probably the most beautiful beach i have ever seen that i've ever been in beyond grateful to be able to experience that beyond grateful that i was able to zip line on the side of a mountain um <laughs> i jumped into hoyo azul for reference that cenote is 49 feet deep i jumped in that that was something that i always wanted to do i was like i want to jump in there as soon as i was planning this trip i was like i want to jump in there and i did and it felt so good swam in the caves like i'm i'm just extreme if y'all know me y'all know per if y'all know me personally y'all know i'm a wild extreme person i love thriller things like that that's just me that's just how i am and it motivates you to do more things but i will come back i will come back to this country but i will not come back to this resort unfortunately i will not be coming back to this resort for one the resort is beautiful it is beautiful. I had this whole beautiful big room to myself and I felt like a bougie queen because I am a bougie queen, but I felt amazing here. Like I was just like, oh my gosh, this room is big, spacious. I have it all to myself. I have a whole jacuzzi to myself. I have a double head shower. Now that I think about it, it is a couple's resort. So it makes sense why they would have a double rainfall shower because that way couples can shower together. But you can fit like six to eight people in that shower maybe even a little more if you're skinny enough you can fit as many people as you want in that shower i had that all to myself and yes i had both showers running at the same time y'all thought i wasn't gonna do it yeah i had both of the rainfall showers running at the same time but the amenities are beautiful the whole facility here is amazing and beautiful but i will not be coming back because the food here for the most part was not good it was not good it was very underwhelming very mediocre subpar you name it like it was not good here the drinks were not strong enough for me i felt like the only time i felt the drinks were like strong when i started kind of feeling myself was on my first full day here when i was wearing like the white bathing suit that time i was feeling a little lit and then whenever we went to hibachi or whenever i went to the hibachi I was feeling really lit and that's because again I had two shots of Mama Genoa because the waiter gave us all at the table shots and then the strawberry margarita I've again I've been having strawberry margaritas the entire trip and then I've had other drinks like signature drinks that they have here but um, my go-to was mainly like strawberry margarita daiquiri piña colada like I finally had a Miami Vice yesterday kind of mad that I didn't get that earlier but it's fine I mean it didn't make a difference anyway because they didn't put a lot of alcohol but the Japanese the one I went to the hibachi restaurant that was when I legit felt lit because we had two shots and then the strawberry margarita was strong just surprisingly strong like I had tasted more alcohol than I did the actual juice itself so I was like oh okay so the food is very subpar it was to the point where it's like if you couldn't even enjoy like your comfort go-to food like a burger pizza chicken tenders or anything like that if that wasn't even good that's a problem 
and that's what i encountered here like the burger and the pizza were disgusting like why does a lunchable pizza taste better than the pizza i had that day like i know this is like my fourth time saying it but i just want to emphasize how bad the food was here there were there were some plates that were good don't get me wrong there were some plates that were good oh and i didn't mention breakfast my first day having breakfast here i had these eggs the like scrambled eggs they were disgusting i took one bite and i said no ma'am i never ate scrambled eggs at all ever again after that day like I haven't eaten scrambled eggs here since I ate that. It was disgusting. I, I don't want to even describe you the taste. I know what it tastes like, but I'm not going to gross you out. Just know it was disgusting, and I did not have those eggs again for breakfast. It's just kind of sad because it's like, why would you mess? Like, simple things. How can you mess that up? And I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's the seasoning that they use because it is a different country, but come on now so i feel like if y'all want to come here i mean you can come at your own risk but you're not going to enjoy the food the drinks are somewhat they're not, well not somewhat they're not really strong enough here um and it's just sad because you pay a lot of money you pay a lot of money to attend these all-inclusive resorts you at least want the food to be great even the comfort food yeah maybe like the actual dinner food may not be all that but like sometimes like their fast food like chicken nuggets chicken tenders burgers can be really really good but not even that was great and then um oh i did have wings though one day you see a clip with me eating wings i don't know if i talked about it the wings were good i will give it that like i had wings and they were good but other than that everything else have been very has been very mediocre so yeah like if you want to come here and come at your own risk the resort is beautiful i'll give it that the people are amazing here but the food is not all that the food is not all that save you the money save yourself the money and find some other resorts there are much more resorts ones that have a lot better food much nicer ones um not saying that this one isn't nice but you know what i mean like ones that have great food you'll find it also um what else what else am I missing? Oh, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, this resort is also not for you at all. I am so sorry, but you will be starving the entire time you're here if you decide to stay here. They do not have vegan options. They try to accommodate you, but it'll literally just be salad with nothing on it like that's literally their definition of vegan. So they'll have like for breakfast, they'll have like jugos naturales. So like jugo de sandia and like jugo de mango and all that. They have that, but that's only for breakfast. So you won't you won't have a lot of variety here if you're a vegan or a vegetarian. Again, there are other resorts here in the city of Punta Cana that I'm pretty sure will have a lot more variety for vegans and vegetarians. But if you come here, you will be starving. You will be starving the entire time. So please save yourself the money. You don't want to spend a lot of money and you can't even eat any of the food here. So save yourself the money and find a resort that offers a great variety of vegan options or vegetarian options so keep that in mind um what else am i missing if you're those type of people that want to be kind of close to the airport this resort is also not for you this is like it's a 40 minute drive from the airport the skate park whenever we went to skate park it was about an hour away so save yourself the time it is pretty much ducked off from everything this resort meaning that it's deserted off there's really nothing around here you have to drive at least 15 to 20 minutes to see things, to see El Pueblo and all that, like you have to drive a ways. So just also keep that in mind. I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I know I'm rambling at this point. I need to go get breakfast. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope y'all enjoyed spending this time with me. And I hope this motivates you to book a solo trip or to do something that you've always wanted to do or that you dreamed of doing, but you couldn't do it. Just do it. This is your sign. Like, I'm so happy. Like, you will feel so good once you've conquered something that you've always wanted to do. Once you've accomplished something that you've always wanted to do, just do it. Just do it. I would totally do this again in a heartbeat, booking a solo trip. I feel so good. And I'm like, dang, like, I want to do this again. But I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and end it out here. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed my vlog. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.